A common burglar? Good gravy, what a twist. Anyway, hello everybody. My name is Alistair Dragovic, and welcome back to my, um, you know, thingy. You know, the thingy. The thingy with the thing and the thing. Hi, kid. Welcome back to the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Let's Play. It's been a while, and now that I have the gaming rig, again, thank you very much, charismatic friend, I now am able to speak in broken sentence fragments and play video games for the entertainment of other people, presumably. <laughs> So yeah, we're just wrapping up the first case and then moving on to trial two. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna be excited for this next trial bit, um, since it introduces the bigger, um, more complex mechanics of the game in this next trial. I played a little bit of it, but I haven't completed it, so I don't know all the tricks to it. But needless to say, I'm very excited. I hope you will be too. Anyway, he posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house, says Phoenix, right? That day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. And we know the rest. I should really have a blood warning for these things. Oops. Anyway, back to the defendant lobby. <sighs> I can't believe we won. <laughs> right. Good job in there. At the risk of, you know, getting too wrapped up in voicing people's voices, I'm going to be continuing to do that anyway. Because there's, you know, no voice acting in this game. And if somebody wants to say, do something else while listening to my Let's Plays, they deserve to know what's going on. They deserve to know the truth. They deserve to know about the justice going on. <laughs> anyway. Congratulations! Th th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. Like against anxiety. Good gravy, that guy was a nervous wreck. I honestly, I don't blame him. Anyone would be a nervous wreck trying to defend their um, best friend. After passing a bar exam in who knows how little time. It's been a while since I've seen an, seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. He thinks to himself, if she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over! <laughs> Larry! You're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Oh, Nick! Don't worry, baby! I'll be dead and gone soon! Larry? Larry, buddy, pal, get some help. Get, wait, no! I mean, bad! Bad, bad, bad! Larry, you're innocent! The case is closed! <laughs> but, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man! Gone forever! Larry, she was a- Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry! <laughs> Harry? Yes, you. I can pra see practically- I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever! Let's celebrate! Dinner? Movie? My treat! Larry Butts, you are incorrigible. Oh no, I couldn't. 
Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. <laughs> Here, take this. It's a present. A present? From me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, <laughs> actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You made this? Wow! 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 The, talk about the, uh... Talk about the tragic irony. If, if Larry Butts hadn't made that statue for his girlfriend, she may have still been alive? Or, on the other hand, it's possible that he could have still killed her, but... He wouldn't have been so flustered at the trial, which means that Larry Butts would have still been framed and got and in fact gone to jail if he hadn't made her that. Gosh, that's more than Gosh. Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Okay, Mia, whatever you say. Yo, Nick. C can you believe it? I was so into that chick, and and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry... Hmm... Are you so sure? I excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. So it's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? Right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, right! What the heck is she talking about? <laughs> Surprise gameplay! Outside of, uh, the tr courtroom. But yeah, it's pretty obvious, uh, if she, even though, uh, whether or not she was, uh, playing Larry Butts is a different story altogether, but you can tell that she valued him quite a lot, um, considering, um, well, who else brings their boyfriend's, uh, statue over to Paris? Like, that would carry tremendous risk if she was just there for sugar daddies and all that. I'll let them explain in more detail, though, as I present... Take... <laughs> he says, take that! <laughs> Check this out, Larry! Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Uh, what about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. <laughs> it is, after all, modeled after the Thinker statue. Huh. Fair enough. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick! I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. <laughs> really, I am! Thanks! Oh, that made him feel a little bit better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Okay, I have to ask. Was that whole monologue thing, um, before she asked if, um, we were about to head on out? Was that her thoughts? Or was that something she s said that was mysteriously um, on a black screen for some reason? Because honestly, the whole black screen thing kind of feels like um, 
a signal that th it's these are the character's thoughts and not actually happening in the in reality. Then again, we also have Phoenix um, his thoughts in little parentheses and in a different color. So then again, then again. Phoenix Wright explaining the case um, after the first trial didn't really quite match either th um, thought patterns or speaking out loud to somebody in the moment. It honestly sounded like a soliloquy. Like, if this were all a stage play, it would have been um, Phoenix Wright taking a moment to... Uh, to turn and address to the audience some of the facts of the case while the actors in the background scrambled to recreate it. The scene and all. Same with Maya, really. Or Mia, sorry. Maya is a completely different character. Mia, um... <laughs> Mia... Sorry, I'm... Just sort of working off of a stream of thought here. I haven't really tried to write a script for any episodes or anything. Anyway, Mia, Mia's address to Phoenix Wright was very much a this is a lesson you should take away and keep to heart. A sort of reiteration on the themes of this game as they are shaping up with us in the wake of the first trial. So, I guess that's the closest equivalent. I guess a soliloquy is the closest equivalent to what was going on there. Which is an interesting, you know, little choice in terms of story structure. Then again, not everything needs to be diegetic. It's very cool when everything is diegetic. But there's artistic merits in things not being diegetic either. And clearly, this is very much going for um, a different artistic direction than pure diagene genesis. Anyway, let's get back to this. Say, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink a toast to the innocent butts. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't his butt is innocent all right <laughs> ow 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 i laughed so hard my head poke got poked by the rig <laughs> My goodness. Just... Whoever named Larry Butts that knew what they were doing. I'm telling you that much right now. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Er, <laughs> yeah. Part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Oh, 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 is she hitting on him? Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly workplace legal. Or at least not work, it's certainly not workplace ethical, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> Back to uh, Phoenix Wright's soliloquy. soliloquy. And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave Mia. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Oh no. Not again. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise I wouldn't be able to keep. Why is that clock cursed? 
Anyway, that's the end of the chapter. Woo! Case one. Over. Over. Well, yes, I'd like to save my progress up to this point. Duh. Yeah, as you can see, I've went into a bit of the next case, which is called Turnabout Sisters. Um, this was back when I was actually hoping to live block this for some friends of mine. And I got decently far into it. But again, the lag was kind of getting to me. And so I, and then I switched to where I was doing my live blogs, and it kind of got lost in the shuffle. It was a whole huge mess. And, but honestly, this whole thing was to, was as if the whole, this, this, the reason why it's a let's play is because I never really forgot that promise to live block this. And it was easier, it's easier for me to do a let's play of things as it turns out, than it is to do a live blog of things. So. <sighs> yeah. Consider this me trying to fulfill that promise. Oh. Ominous. Already in... Already in day two... Day one of... An Turn about sisters, huh? At any rate. Oh, a cell phone going off. Okay, thank goodness somebody picked up the phone. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Yeah, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely! And it's all your fault. Nah, <laughs> I'm just teasing. I've been great! I'm finally getting used to having my own place! That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know! You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's... a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always liked toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably should tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Wow. Three minutes until the 9 o'clock meeting, okay. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho <laughs> ho! You are not cogniferous of my background? Gather yeah, information is my business, you see. I. I should have been more careful. Ho <laughs> ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. 
But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. <laughs> oh no! That guy looks like a freaking psycho! Red, white, blue. Okay, that was even more messed up looking. Okay, so... Eight minutes after the nine o'clock meeting... Phoenix is late. Huh? That's strange. I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Oh! Now I have options to examine her move. I smell blood. Now that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia... The chief's okay! I'm just trying to see if there's anything actually... And I was actually able to pick up with the examine option. Ah! Oh, that preview picture does not look good. That smell. Blood! <laughs> Sis! Someone's there! Oh, dear. Chief? Chief? CHIEF! Who are you? Oh! She I hope she didn't pass out on that glass! The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Ew. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Oh, God! That's morbid as... Oh my goodness! And unfortunately for everybody here, I've got to end it on this cliffhanger! Ugh! I am out of time! My name is Alistair Dragovic, and if you want to, um, you know, see more, then you should probably subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll be able to get a no notification for when we get, get back to, um, the murder of the chief. And if you want to support my efforts, be sure to like and comment on this video. Make sure to um, talk about any standout moments or to give me any const anything constructive that might help me improve for next time. And if you want to support me, either emotionally or financially, I'll be putting a link to a Discord cha channel that I have for this, seri for this um, YouTube channel in the description, as well as a link to my Kofi, where you can do a one-time donation. Maybe one day I will have a Patreon there, but I want to get some other things set up first. Until then, my name is Alistair Trakovic, and I hope you all have a much better day than Mia has had. Seriously, you all, take care, okay? There are people who care about you. I'm sure of it. So long.